some freaking games. Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Duffy the Gamer. Um, my channel, Duffy the Gamer, that is. Uh, and today we're gonna be ranking uh Eminem's albums because it's getting kind of late and I have work tomorrow, but I do want to record at least something. So we're gonna do this. Uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna from here uh rank every song in each album probably won't do infinite though that's like that's the one i'm not gonna do because no one really cares about infinite unfortunately but yeah so let's get started so this one has an s a b c and d no uh no f uh but i'll let you know if there is an f and if there is i'll put it in d so we're gonna go in chronological order starting with infinite so even it really is not a bad album, but a lot of the music in it is forgettable, and I feel like the only good songs are 313 and uh, and Inf Infinite. Like, those are like the only really good songs. The other stuff isn't bad, just forgettable. Uh, and honestly, for a first album, it's impressive, but it's going in D. So, yeah. So next is the Slim Shady LP. I love this album like a lot. Uh, let me think. What do we got here? We got freaking My Name Is, Guilty Conscience, Rock Bottom, Brain Damage. I mean, Role Model, 97 Bonnie and Clyde. If I had so much good stuff in this album, this is definitely an A tier album. My top three songs have got to be Role Model. Uh, I probably rock bottom and 97 bonnie and clyde uh very very good album so next is the marshall mathers lp definitely an s uh what do you got here we have uh, amityville uh kill you um what else we got here freaking stan the real slim shady it's just such a good album criminal kim very very good album Lots of good stuff. Top three songs, honestly. Stan is my number one. Then Real Some Shady. And, ooh, this is difficult. Uh, damn. What what, would, what might be my what would be my third? I think Criminal, honestly. I really like Criminal. There's something about it. So next we got the Eminem Show. S, easily. Can I put that in front of this one? There we go. My favorite album of all time uh so there's that <laughs> i love this album so it starts off with white america which you know it's fine but business is great cleaning out my closet love it square dance amazing soldier say goodbye hollywood i mean bro till i collapse sing for the moment so much good stuff superman and Easily my favorite song on this album and my favorite song of all time, Haley's song. Well, with the exception of Lose Yourself, my favorite, that's my favorite song. But Haley's song is my second favorite time of all, my favorite, second favorite song of all time. This album is a literal masterpiece. Now, I know someone who's probably watching this who disagrees with me, and if you're watching, screw you. This album is a masterpiece. Okay. So next we got Encore. No, no, not in D. Well, ah, it's difficult. I'm gonna have to put it in D. Yeah. Encore has enough in it to where it's like, it's not like unlistenable. I mean, easily the best songs are like Toy Soldiers and uh, Mockingbird. And Yellow Brick Road is also really good. Ricky Ticky Talk, I like that too. Um, and ass like that is kind of a guilty pleasure i can't lie i do kind of enjoy that song from time to time uh mosh is okay i'm not a huge fan of mosh but the beat is pretty solid but there's just so much crap in it like my first single oh like i don't want to listen to that like take out my first single and like some of the other bad shit and then this could honestly go in c tier but it's just the, the the lows are way too low uh, for me to put in C. And so then Eminem had his drug overdose. You know, I think someone said it was like four bags worth of heroin. That was like, a, that was the equivalent. 
Uh, and then he like took a long time to come back to it after that. And he came back with Relapse. Now this is the original Relapse. It's not Relapse Refill with all the bonus tracks. But you know what? I fuck with this album. This album is so good. I'm putting it in B. Honestly, I know that M may, does not really like like this album a lot. And it is a bit weird, especially with the accents. But there is enough in this album that makes me just love it so much. I mean, top three songs are definitely beautiful. Uh, we Made You and uh, Deja Vu with uh, with Crack a Bottle at a close second. And there's just a lot of other stuff there, too, that I, I enjoy. Bagpipes from Baghdad is also, you know, decent. I really like the beat in that one. Hello is kind of a guilty pleasure. Uh, my Darling. Oh, Okay, I take back everything I said. My Darling is my favorite song on Relapse Refill. Such a good song. I love My Darling. Uh, that's really it for the bonus tracks, so though. Not a big fan of those. Um, Underground 2. Did I mention Crack a Bottle? I think I did. Just Crack a Bottle is so good. Honestly, Eminem, Dr. Dre, and 50 Cent go so well together. Such a good combination. I love this album. It's so good. So then he came back with Recovery, and Recovery is such a fucking good album. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. It's not as good as the Slim Shady LP, but it, it definitely belongs in the A tier. Such a good album. There's so much good stuff here. Cold Wind Blows, Space Bound, freaking Not Afraid, which I know is a little cringy at times, but it's a very good song. I don't care what you say. Fuck off. I mean... Bro, I, I didn't even mention going through changes and talking to myself. Cinderella Man, 25 to Life, Love the Way You Lie. Such a good album. So good. I love this album. Top three songs, talking to myself, going through changes. And damn. I would honestly have to go with Cold Wind Blows. Such a good album. Definitely A tier. Then we have the Marshall Mathers LP too. Okay, not revival. No. Um. So, Marshall Mathers LP two, I have to put an S. So this starts out with Bad Guy, and the first first time I heard that song, I wasn't really impressed because I didn't listen to the whole thing. But then I gave it another listen, and I kid you not, I listened to it 15 more times that day. Sophie, get out of here. So yeah, Bad Guy is a real masterpiece sequel to stan love bad guy it's easily my favorite song on the entire album what an opening then it goes to rhyme of reason <sighs> rhyme of reason rhyme of reason's good it's not like amazing but uh uh it's it's a it's a solid song and now i can't remember the name of the third song i think it's like oh i don't you know what i forgot uh, i'll probably put it up on the video but that song, I usually skip it. It's not that great. Now here comes Survival. <laughs> now, I love Survival so much. Such a good song. I love Survival. Great song. Then Legacy. Um, I think Legacy is okay. You know, solid song. I'm not like, you know, blowing. I'm not blown away by it. But I definitely like it. Um, and yeah. Uh rap god love rap god brainless i love how brainless has like that that nod to super bad uh when the chick was talking about um uh, talking about eminem i thought that was really funny uh we got uh, the monster which personally i like the monster more than love the way you lie uh i think it's it's a better song than that song with rihanna uh i think they did much better on that one like that's not to take away from love the way you lie i just think the monster for me is much better uh so yeah and um rap god mentioned that yeah uh headlights is a true masterpiece this song is so good it's not as good as the two, these two but it definitely belongs in s now we got revival this is such a bad album dude so bad it's so bad <laughs> like i really do like castle i really do like river but Ed Sheeran and Eminem don't mix. Uh, I thought they did better on those kind of nights. Uh, but here, no. Don't like it. 
and it's a really bad album. So yeah. Now, Kamikaze. I don't know how I feel about Kamikaze. I thought The Ringer was pretty solid opening to the album. I really like Venom. Um, Nice Guy is the, really the only bad song on this album. Uh, Lucky You, very solid. Uh, honestly, Kamikaze is, for me, a B-tier song. Not good as Relapse, not good as Relapse, but definitely belongs in B. Solid album. And then we got Music To Be Murdered By. Definitely belongs in A. Not as good as Recovery, but definitely belongs in the A tier. So, what do we got in this album? We got uh, Unaccommodating, or I guess Premonition is the first song. Uh, I thought Premonition was really solid. Uh, Unaccommodating, very good. Uh, I, I'm actually a big fan of Unaccommodating. I know there's a few people who get a little bit triggered by it just because of the Ariana Grande line in that song. But I like that song. It's really solid. Uh, easily best song on the album, Godzilla. God, dude, Juice World and Eminem go together so well. Such a perfect combination. Almost better than Dr. Dre and 50 Cent. Such a good combination. Love Godzilla, dude. We got Darkness. Darkness is very solid. Leaving Heaven is fine, but the Skylar Grey uh, chorus is kind of annoying. Honestly, Skylar Grey is not that great <laughs> not that great i'm sorry if you like her but she's just kind of annoying at this point uh what else do we got in here we got those kind of nights um those kind of nights is actually really good in my opinion uh i definitely think it's better than river when it comes to like mnm and ed sheeran so i thought that song was solid stepdad i know some people really hate that song but the thing is is that i can actually very relate to that which is why I like that song so much. Uh, I have to admit the beat can be a little bit annoying at times, but I just the fact that I can relate to it so much. It it's just it's it's a good song. Um, and yeah, I really like music to be murdered by, and it definitely belongs in A. So th this is my list right here: uh, the Eminem Show, Marshall Mathers LP, and the Marshall Mathers LP in S. Uh, Slim Shady LP, Recovery in the in a Music to be Murdered by an A, Relapse Refill and Kamikaze and B, Nothing in C, and they got Encore, Infinite, and Revival in D. So this is my track list. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, stay tuned for the track ranking on the Slim Shady LP whenever I get around to it. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. Mwah.